Welcome to section 37 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video we'll be discussing Legionella, which you can see right here. This scene will take place back during the time when the Roman Empire ruled the land. As you can see, a Roman legion of soldiers is on a ship that appears to be sinking. You can tell that this is a legion of Roman soldiers because of their formation and the rectangular shaped shields that they're holding. Anyway, legion sounds like Legionella, so the legion of Roman soldiers will help you remember that this image is all about Legionella pneumophila. Just like in other gram negative videos, notice that we've shown the background and water kind of pink appearing. So Legionella is gram negative. This is a gram stain of Legionella. As you can see, it's pink or red appearing and rod shaped. So it's a gram negative bacillus. Next, notice that we've shown a soldier who fell out of the boat and is attempting to swim back. I guess you could say this guy is partially off the ship, but that he also has the ability to quickly get back on the ship. The ship is a symbol for inside of the cell, and the water is a symbol for outside of the cell. So this symbolism should help you remember that Legionella is facultative intracellular. I know, I know, we've used other symbols for this in the past. However, in this image, we felt committed to the story, and this symbol just seemed to work better. So remember, Legionella is facultative intracellular. It's probably pretty obvious by now, but notice that this image has a lot of water in it. We've intentionally made it this way to help you remember that Legionella is transmitted through water sources, such as air conditioning systems and hot water tanks. Likewise, this idea implies that there is no person-to-person -person transmission. Legionella is transmitted through water sources. Okay, now let's talk about why the ship is sinking. As you can see, the ship towards the bottom of the screen has a huge spike on the end of it and crashed into the sinking ship. Now there's a big fire with smoke rising into the air. The smoke is here to help you remember that Legionella is common in smokers and in those with chronic lung disease. You may have guessed it by now, but the boats crashing into one another was not an accident. This is a full-on battle going on between the Roman Legion and the soldiers under command of Helen of Troy. You can see her sitting in her comfy royal chair as she commands her army to destroy the Legion's ship. Let's zoom up on her so you can see things better. If you look closely at her neck, you can see that she's wearing an expensive blue necklace, as royalty should. Anyway, just like in our other images, the blue necklace is here to help you remember that Legionella is oxidase positive. This is an image of the oxidase test, which we covered in more detail in section 20, which is our Neisseria overview video. Recall that if the organism is oxidase positive, then the disc will turn a blue or purple color, which is what we can see on the left side right here. So remember, Legionella is oxidase positive. All right, now notice that we've shown several piles of silver on Helen of Troy's ship. She is royalty after all, so I guess she's quite wealthy and hoards her money in the form of silver on her ship. The Roman Legion knew this, so they came after her money, and now they're fighting in this fierce battle. Anyway, the piles of silver are here to help you remember the silver stain. While Legionella is technically gram-negative, it stains poorly with this technique, so it's more easily identifiable using the silver stain. So piles of silver for silver stain. This is a silver stain of Legionella. Notice the black bacilli-shaped organisms, for example, right here. All right, let's turn our attention to the Roman Legion and the decorative rectangular-shaped shields. Let's zoom up on this so you can see it better. There are three points that I'd like to mention here. First, notice that several of the shields show the iconic depiction of the Sistine Chapel, with the two people extending their hands out towards one another. Sistine Chapel sounds like Sistine, so this will be our symbol for Sistine. Second, notice that the soldiers' faces are covered in a black soot from all the smoke. This is to help you think of charcoal, which is our symbol for charcoal yeast extract. Finally, notice that each soldier is holding an iron javelin. This is to help you think of iron. So putting these three ideas together should help you remember that Legionella is grown on charcoal yeast extract medium buffered with iron and cysteine. This is an image of buffered charcoal yeast extract agar. As you can tell, it's black appearing because it contains charcoal. You can see the organisms growing quite prominently right here. All right, remember how I mentioned that the Roman ship was sinking? Look at all that water inside of their ship. Anyway, the water inside of the boat is here to help you remember that Legionella causes watery diarrhea. Now you can see that we've added two more characters to this scene. Let's zoom up so you can see them better. As you can see, one of the Roman soldiers appears to be coughing due to all of that smoke. As you hopefully know by now, the cough is our symbol for pneumonia. So Legionella causes pneumonia. Next, notice that we've shown another Roman soldier who accidentally got smacked in the head. The guy that's coughing started coughing so hard that he accidentally swung his shield towards the fire and whacked his friend in the head. Now you can see stars spinning around this poor guy holding his head. This is to help you think of the CNS and remember that Legionella causes CNS symptoms such as confusion and headache. We already talked about the smoke rising from the fire, but the burning hot fire itself should help you remember that Legionella can cause a high fever which just means a fever greater than 39 degrees Celsius. All right, now let's talk about this ship on the left side of the image. 
Now, as you can see, it has a very prominent spike that's used for ramming into other ships. If you look closely at the spike, it resembles the Pontiac logo that is commonly seen on Pontiac cars. Just so you know what I'm talking about, this is the Pontiac logo often seen on Pontiac cars. Anyway, the Pontiac symbol shown right next to the hot fire should help you think of the Pontiac fever. So Legionella causes Pontiac fever, which is characterized by a mild flu-like syndrome. Now you can see some salt spilling out of the Roman ship as it's cracked open by the force of the opposing boat. The fact that the salt is getting spilled into the water should help you think of low salt, or hyponatremia. So Legionella is associated with hyponatremia. Now you can see that oil and valuable gems have also spilled out of the ship. The oil is yellow and resembles urine, and the gems should make you think of antigens. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Legionella can be diagnosed by detecting antigens in the urine. All right, now let's talk about treatment. First, notice that we've shown a soldier swinging from this zip line as he attempts to move between the two boats. Zip sounds like azithromycin, so this guy is here to help you remember that Legionella can be treated with azithromycin. Finally, notice that we've shown decorative flowers on the Roman ship. This part of the ship kind of resembles a prominent staff, which, just like in our other videos, is here to help you remember that Legionella can also be treated with fluoroquinolones. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 51-year-old male with a history of chronic bronchitis is brought to the emergency department by his wife due to strange behavior for the past two days. She states that this morning, he got lost driving home from the grocery store, which is only a few blocks away from their home. She also states that he complained of diarrhea and a headache the day before. Physical examination is significant for a fever of 40.3 degrees Celsius. The patient is also mildly disoriented, but the remainder of the neurological exam is normal. A sputum gram stain reveals an abundance of neutrophils, but no organisms. What additional finding will most likely be present in this individual? A. Gram-positive cocci colonization of the nares. B. Antigens of the pathogen in the urine. C. Hemolysis due to IgM autoantibodies. Or D. Antibodies directed against hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. There are several key clues from the question stem that should have helped you come to the correct answer. First, the patient has a history of chronic bronchitis. Second, he has CNS abnormalities, including altered behavior and a headache. Third, he has diarrhea. Fourth, he has a high fever of 40.3 degrees Celsius. And finally, a sputum gram stain revealed an abundance of neutrophils, but no organisms. Collectively, these clues are highly suggestive of Legionella and leave us with one correct answer, which is B, antigens of the pathogen in the urine. From the image, recall that the water entering the ship right here is to help you remember that Legionella can cause diarrhea. The guy with the stars above his head right here should help you remember that it's associated with CNS abnormalities, such as a headache and confusion. The burning hot fire right here should help you remember that it causes a high fever. The piles of silver over here should help you remember that it stains poorly with a gram stain and can be more easily identified using the silver stain. And finally, the urine with the gems in the water right here should help you remember that it can be diagnosed by detecting antigens in the urine. A is incorrect because this is a reference to Staph aureus. Recall that Staph aureus colonizes the nares and can cause pneumonia, but it typically occurs following a viral infection. The patient's diarrhea and neurological symptoms, as well as the inconclusive gram stain, make this answer choice unlikely. So A is incorrect. C is a reference to mycoplasma pneumonia. Recall that this pathogen can cause walking pneumonia and can present similarly to Legionella. However, this typically occurs in younger patients who attend college or who are in the military. So this patient's age makes this less likely. Also, the high fever and diarrhea also make this less likely. So C is incorrect. Finally, D is incorrect because this is a reference to influenza. Recall that influenza has surface glycoproteins called hemagglutinin and neuraminidase that allow it to enter and leave the host cell. However, this typically presents with a cough, rhinitis, a headache, and myalgias. The diarrhea, neurological symptoms, and gram stain, which revealed an abundance of neutrophils, also make this answer choice unlikely. So D is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is B, antigens of the pathogen in the urine. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Legionella.